So we're gonna have a value of t, and we wanna write down the quadrant it lives in, and also t bar. Now what's t bar? Tells us right here the reference angle or the reference number. Uh, one easy way to think about the reference angle or reference number is the shortest or smallest positive angle back to the x-axis. Okay, I guess we'll just go with purple, that's fine. Okay, so first one is negative. So I'm gonna draw a unit circle here. This will be part A. All right, negative means we're rotating the wrong way or clockwise. You're always going from the positive x-axis. We're rotating clockwise. Now we rotate halfway around, that's pi. But of course we're counting in thirds, so that would be negative three pi over three. Uh, we're only going negative one pi over three, so that's one third of the way here. So that's right there. Okay, so what quadrant are we in? Well, we're definitely in quadrant two. Nope, kidding. One, two, three, that's quadrant four. Wow. Uh, you're counting, the quadrants always go from the positive upper right quadrant, and then you rotate. The normal way to rotate is counterclockwise. Okay, so what about T-bar? So remember, T-bar is the smallest angle, smallest positive angle to the x-axis, and that would be right here, and the positive angle is positive pi over 3. So that's T bar, positive, pi over three. Okay, so these other ones, they do get a little tricky, seven pi over four, that's obviously very close to two pi, it's almost a full rotation. It's gonna go counterclockwise as normal. So I'm just gonna do a really quick drawing of that. 23 pi over six, a bit of a pain because it's significantly bigger than pi, uh, than 12 pi over six, which is two pi. So this is gonna go around several times. I don't know where it's gonna end exactly. But remember, if you count a pi over sixes, this would be pi. The second lap, it would be three pi. And if you need to go to the third lap, it would be five pi. And of course, you wanna turn them all to pi over sixes. All right, what we're gonna do is look at the last one, part D. T equals six, what? All the rest of these were usually gonna be in radians unless you see the degree symbol. Again, if it was degrees, you would see the degree symbol. However, there's no degree symbol, and also the other parts are in radians, so that's a really good indication this is a radian measure. However, we're always used to a multiple of pi, and there's no pi here. So what are we gonna do now? Okay, what is pi in decimal? Well, we can't write the exact number because it's irrational but it's close to 3.14. Two pi, we don't usually think about this number, but it's close to 6.28. You can get more accurate, but we'll actually need to be exact, and we'll see how to do that in a minute. No matter how many decimal places you write, you will not be exact. So writing 100 decimal places makes you no more exact. Well, I guess you're more accurate, but still not exact. All right. How do we know what quadrant it's in? Well, it's really close to two pi. Is it more or is it less than two pi? So two pi is close to 6.28. So we're short a little bit. We're not going all the way there, but almost all the way there. So it'll be something like that. So that's T right there. So what quadrant we're in? Well, it's gonna be quadrant four, just like the last one, or I should say the first one. All right, now, tricky part, reference angle. So remember, reference angle, smallest positive angle, easy to draw, right there. That's T bar. How in the world do we measure that? Well, here's one way to do it. What is T plus T bar? If you look, that's one full rotation. That's two pi. So, how do you solve for t-bar? Pretty easy, subtract t. t is six. There we go.
2 pi minus 6 is t bar. That's exact because pi is in there, not an approximation. If you, uh, let's see, all right, you want to enter pi as pi in your answers. Uh, if you really want to see the number value, well, it's going to be really close to 0.28. It's a good estimate. 6.28 is a good estimate for 2 pi, so it's just a little bit less. How much less? 6 less. Well, it's a lot less. But anyways, that's the exact value, however, right there, without using calculator.